Colorado, a word synonymous with water, lots of it, to quench the thirst of ever-growing populations throughout the West. Colorado, that single word conjures up images of Rocky Mountain splendor and for fishermen, clear streams filled with hungry cutthroat rainbow and brown trout. In 1962, Denver Water completed the Roberts Tunnel to divert billions of gallons of water from Colorado's western slope to the Front Range where water was desperately needed. Denver Water put a lot of time and thought and effort into developing a water management plan and the South Fork is managed as a fishery and that's classic. The North Fork, once a meandering stream, was now converted to a straight and shallow channel with average depths fluctuating from feet to mere inches. As the tunnel goes up and down, dictates how this fishery lives and dies. In winter, when water is at its lowest, fish and aquatic insects struggle to survive. From my experience, uh, after we have some period of time of low water, fish start uh, becoming weak. Then they float downstream or die. It was assumed that the river would adapt positively to these profound changes. Well, the North Fork is, is challenged. It's now a water artery, and it's, it's managed as such. You know, the number one priority for Denver Water is how fast and how much they can move down that river. It wasn't until the 1990s did we see private citizens along with the Division of Wildlife begin to take interest in saving trout in the North Fork. These efforts included digging holes and strategically placing rocks in the channel to slow the river and help create some natural pools and eddies where the fish can survive the low waters of winter. In a situation like this, you need to have a big enough piece of equipment that it can handle the larger rocks that are going in, um, yet it needs to be able to fit so that it can swing through the channel and uh, the boom and counterweight aren't knocking out vegetation. Just after we did the work, now we've got water out here that in some places is two, two and a half feet deep, maybe three feet deep. That's what fish need. Nobody suffers from a healthy aquatic ecosystem, right? To the extent that private people are able to help facilitate that and make that happen, make it a more vibrant fishery, we all win. These stream improvements continue every year on small private tracts of land and with the stocking of fish in both public and private sections of the river. The quality of fish habitat has improved, making fly fishing for rainbows and browns superb. I think that the fact that the private uh, ranches stock fish helps the river tremendously. So when we stock fish, they can move anywhere they want to go, and they can re reproduce anywhere they want to go. And uh, we think that, that just totally helps the entire river system. These simple changes can only work when water levels are maintained year-round. The biggest challenge is I'd love to have more sustained, even flows. Instead of great spikes when water demand is high, I'd, I'd like to have slower, steadier, normal flows throughout this North Fork that still de delivers the water, uh, but at least considers and factors in the fishing as a recreational aspect. October 28, 2009. The water flow coming from the Roberts Tunnel in the North Fork was shut off completely. And over the course of the next five months downstream, this vibrant river was decimated to a mere icy trickle, resulting in the loss of thousands of fish. The reason, said Dave Bennett, water resource planner, was to maintain flows from Cheeseman Canyon on the river's main stem to meet obligations of the South Platte Protection Plan. Most everyone that I've heard so far has called and said they lost all their fish, so. Unfortunately, we have a year like we had this winter. It doesn't matter. Big, small species, they die because they don't have enough oxygen. Honestly, this is definitely one of the worst I've seen. With everything we have learned, when water is diverted for municipal use, nature ultimately suffers. If we can't protect a small stream like the North Fork, how can we protect the bigger streams?